Thanks for joining us on Arirang News. I'm Kim Dami in Seoul. The Bank of Korea has yet again decided to keep its key interest rate at 3.5%, citing the heated housing market and rising household debt as the main reasons. It also lowered the country's economic growth forecast to 2.4%. Democratic Vice Presidential Candidate and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz is speaking and formally accepting the nomination on night three of the U.S. Democratic National Convention on Wednesday. Former President Donald Trump held his first outdoor rally since an assassination attempt on him, now this time behind a bulletproof glass. Ukraine's incursion into Russian territory intensifies, with Ukraine reportedly having struck Moscow in one of the largest drone attacks since the war began. As widely expected, Seoul's central bank has announced it is keeping its benchmark interest rate steady for the 13th session in a row at 3.5%. Skyrocketing home prices and household debt were partly behind the decision to hold off our rate cuts, our Isujin reports. It's day three of the Democratic National Convention where U.S. The White House has announced that U.S. President Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Russia says that its air defenses shut down a total of 45 Ukrainian. The meeting between the ruling People's Power Party chairman Han Dong-un and the South Korea's fuel tax cuts will be extended through October. As That's all we have at this hour. Arirang News will be back at 2 p.m. Korea time. Thanks for watching.